What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Jesse and Mike. Oh, what up? Guys, Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 14, entitled The Other Side. Yes. Yes. It's an how episode. Long, how long? <laughs> uh, no, the other I'm, side. I'm not going to go into that. No, uh, so guys, if you watch the live reaction in our review, you know that we scored this uh, just another middling episode. We gave it an overall rating of three, three walkers. Mm-hmm. Um, although, you know, we did like some elements of this. I think we all realized yeah. after the fact that we did kind of like some of the elements of this of this video, of this episode. So, um, oh, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I mean, why don't we just go right ahead and jump into what we, you know, what, let's just start talking about the hilltop. Oh, no, I'm yep. sorry. Let's uh, recap it. Wow, I keep forgetting that. Jess, what's up? What do we got for the recap, man? <laughs> All right, wow. so for a recap this week, we have the saviors visit the hilltop unexpectedly, surprising everyone with plans of taking more than supplies. However, we have a little uh, addendum to it. Elsewhere, plans go into action. Okay. What do you mean by that? Oh, God, Ooh. Lord baby Jesus, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, guys, let the me just, uh, yeah. right off the top, let me just uh, apologize for Jesse's camera. I know, I know it's a little wonky. Uh, he's having internet issues, um, but we're happy he's still able to be here live with us. So just mm-hmm. be grateful for that, guys. All right. Damn you. Now that that's or blame Mediacom for it. Yeah. You can always do that. All right, send Rosita. Rosita didn't get to get a chance to get into the compound for the savior, so why don't we send her over to Mediacom? Guys, oh, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's, uh, let's talk about the hilltop. Um, a couple things happened here. Um, a couple of key yeah. things actually happened, and I'll just yeah. really just – I'll say them. One was the fact that we got Daryl and Maggie finally speaking, which was cool. We'll get into that. Yes. Yeah. And we got Simon talking to uh, Gregory and Gregory being the rat bastard the that he is. The fucking snake fuck. Right. So um, – so obviously the saviors come. And come don't down. forget uh, Gregory talking down to Jesus. Right. Well, uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll get. So we'll take it a little bit in order. So the saviors show up because they're they're there to take uh, the doctor, doctor Carson. Carson, who uh, I I was remind I had totally forgotten that his brother was the doctor of the of the the sanctuary for the saviors, yeah. and we know doctor that doctor Carson was thrown into a fucking furnace and dead. So they came to take this doctor, and um, I thought it was kind of funny that they that they he says Simon says we're not going to leave you without any medical, uh, any supply or medical whatever options or something. Yeah, he says. just a big crate of aspirin, a hey, ginormous crate of that helps, a lot of but... aspirin. That was hilarious. Like, where the hell did they get that? You know what I'm saying? Right. Who no. who would even have that? You know what I mean? Like. Uh, Costco? Not even, not even, I was about to say Costco. <laughs> Costco, maybe. Who knows? Costco's store? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, we got that. Um, I mean, you know, this is going to go pretty quick, guys, because it really wasn't much. I, 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 I liked his little... Uh, people say I have a very expressive face. Oh, God. Like, well, he's uh, like... We don't need two doctors. Yeah, his whole yeah. thing. Like, yeah, he's great. Yeah, he he, when or he's on, he's the best part of the two, scene, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. he's just the best part. He's just so yeah. good at what he does, and I think he has fun doing it, which is great. I think he just loves Stephen Ogg loves playing those that fucking dirtbag. You know, it's great. <laughs> I mean, it, I, it's GTA Five's Trevor in the Walking Dead universe. Yeah, it, yeah it, it's right. definitely definitely fun. Um, so Gregory again, you know, uh, we and then, you know this is what I thought was interesting, guys, is that they he says some people might you know he he's trying to allude to the fact that he's like basically telling him that people are trying to like get, you know, want to out yeah. oust him because he's a piece of shit. And, you know, uh, Simon responds by saying, well, Hey, if you want to talk about it, come and visit me. Like that was kind of surprising to me, you know? Yeah. But what was it? But not any other ulterior motives or something. like that. Yeah. He's like, remember. no shenanigans. You know, he's like, but you know, yeah. don't, yeah, no don't, be coming, don't be coming yeah. thinking you're going to, you're going to start some shit because that's not what we're doing. He's like, you know, oh. but I still don't trust. He's such a snake. They're both snakes. Yes. And I don't he trust really Simon as far as I can fucking throw him. Yeah. And, you know, and Gregory's just an outward piece of shit. And Simon knows it. Yeah. You know, he knows he's a piece of mm-hmm. shit. And he, and he mm-hmm. blows so much smoke up Gregory's ass and he and Gregory believes it. It's such a great relationship they have. So I, is. I enjoy those scenes. I really do. So, so I mean, that, that was pretty good. And then we got, um, and I know I'm moving us along here, guys. So if you guys have anything to say about any of that, Mike, or just, just cut I got off. one thing to say. Yeah. Next person that says shenanigans is going to get pistol whipped. <laughs> hey, Farber, what is your favorite? What was that favorite restaurant of yours? Oh, shenanigans? 
Oh my god. <laughs> god Fucking dang it. Love that movie. Guys, that's Super yeah. Troopers. Oh, yeah. You should go see Super <laughs> Troopers by the group Broken Lizard. It's a great fucking movie. Super yeah. Troopers 2 coming soon. Nah, it's not going to be good. I'm not going to. It's. Yeah. They can't. They're done. <laughs> they, Beer Fest sucked. The other one. I, like, I thought Beer Fest was funny. Club Dread or whatever. <laughs> We're getting off topic here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's our net. That's our news uh, segment called uh, Movie Talk with Third Person. Um, yeah. No, but so then we get. Uh, we finally get the Daryl and Maggie scene. And. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, we have some commentary about that later on when we talk well, about a long time. Zeta. It was a long time coming for long time you know, coming. obviously that's oh, yeah. why they sped it up so fast to the point where Maggie was like, Oh, you know, you've been here a while and you haven't said two words to me and all that kind of stuff. So they wrapped up something that we've been hoping for these past couple episodes, you know, ever since Daryl Daryl's come back or even before. Um Yeah. You know, and we see that obviously Daryl feels feels the blame. Um, big time, and he tells Maggie, and that was one of my favorite scenes. I mean, for most most of us, I think. Yeah, we t- tell me, you guys thing. didn't like choke up, man. Like you didn't like get well, the, look, yeah, I mean, misty eyed because that's know. just like because f- it's the weight, the yeah. weight of what it meant. Yeah, well, oh, actually, I didn't know whether you know to be sad or be happy that it was happening. You know, well, I'm still- actually surprised that that Maggie was just so um, cool with it. Yeah, just the fact that she wasn't more. I mean, I guess that would. That's a whole other. Well, you know, she said she says it too, Mikey. She's like, we have like other things that we have to worry about. She's yeah, like, well, she you says know, you need. We need to win, and she says you need to help me win. Yeah, you know? yeah. She says you are so, one of the good. Pe- you're one of the good people. Yeah. And you know, Glenn said that because he was one of the good people, so he yeah. like yep. knew and. Yeah. And I'm getting choked up thinking about it because it's it's yeah, it, no. mean, it means something, it was man. Like. You know, it's just, it means, you know, if anything, I mean, we're so, we're obviously, the three of us are so fucking invested, we do a goddamn YouTube channel show on it. So, you know, we're invested into these characters and and what happened, and it's like, this is, you know, so, yeah, you're right, Mike, that was a fucking great scene, man. Uh, We're so invested, we have Facebook chats where anything pops off about Walking Dead, it's like an hour-long discussion. Exactly. But the thing is, it was too fucking short, man. I mean, mean, what did you really want? I know. You That's know, what I was saying but... too. Remember with the whole Sasha Rosita thing, right? And um, you know their dialogue between them on you know let's let's point to the fact that they had a cool little friggin' box trap that went underneath the vents. Oh, that, that was, was awesome! awesome. That was you know, cool. to sneak out when the saviors arrived without yeah, you know cool. without them seeing seeing the two go off. But yeah, they gave so much time um, in the beginning with with them on the road when they were searching for a car. And it was like, you know, bitchy girl fight, twelve year old lock. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. it was just, it was annoying. You know, and the, you know, in the end, when there was such a quick turnaround of them actually bonding over, you know, knots, learning how. You know what I mean? That's really the whole thing. It was. It was Rosita, you know, spinning this knot with the rope and 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 breaking this this the ice and and them actually starting to to talk a little bit and then they are sitting there crying and they're weeping over fucking Abraham. You know, but there's no time. You see, I think they realize there's no real time for that. Like you have yeah. a lot of other things. Like we were all like, okay, you said he's no, not I outside, agree, but, but you're it was not just looking. So, it was just so fast. Yeah. You know, they went from Rosita went from such a stone cold bitch to like, now they're crying together. Yeah, you know I, what yeah, I mean? I, you know, but then again, but, uh, the you know it was there was you know there was a lot of redemp- redemption with them in the end. And I thought it was cool when we see what happens with Eugene. You know, what do you guys think? Uh, <laughs> I'm disappointed in Eugene. All right, I, I really yeah. am. We can get into that a little bit. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think that you think that that's just more? Um, he didn't want to go with them. Uh, because he feels like now he'd be a detriment on Alexandria and, and, and it'll just cause more of Negan to go after and want to, you know, I don't think, uh, yeah, after. yeah, I think, I, yeah. or part, do you think he fell for that. his, he really fell for his position? Because no, I look, think it's listen, part. Listen to what he, listen to what he said on the radio too about, you know, chief, what the fuck, what, what, what the hell was he calling himself? Chief engineer, chief doctor, 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 Dr. Eugene, Eugene Porter, Porter, chief engineer, chief engineer of, also you know, he's Negan. really, he's really playing a good part, you know, he's also really, Negan, he, look, which is I who think I am. He likes it. I think he likes, I think it's, I think it's bittersweet for him. I think he likes the attention. He likes that he gets to be who he wants to be, which is pretending to be someone else. He likes that. He likes that. He's kind of in the, in the side pocket of Negan's, he thinks yeah. he won't get hurt. 
Um, yeah. But I also thinks I thinks I also think he's <laughs> doing it because he knows that if he's there doing that, that he won't be his his people won't he be helped. punished. Yeah, by Negan, I think maybe. That's, well, I think I think the I think the the biggest clue is that he just he just broke down. He was crying, like yeah. whimpering, like oh, you know. So I just think that that showed that he's definitely playing an act. Yeah. Obviously, one I mean, one hundred. You know what I mean? That I, I'm not gonna fall for the Negan's uh, uh, Eugene is 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 feeling the role. I think it's totally an act because as soon as he saw them, he just broke down. Like we saw the kind of person he was with the talk on the radio that we overheard. We see how he was pointing and dictating where everybody should be working in the in the Walker uh, area there. You know, yeah. earlier in the episode, and just that once he saw them, he was just like. You know, he just broke down. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking that it's just more. Let me just keep these people safe and not throw another wrench in the game by, by, yeah. um, st- you know, stirring the pot more with Negan and, yeah. you know, wanting to go after Alexandria that much more. I mean, because obviously Negan still is looking for Daryl, um, but there's still not that big, big excuse for Negan to to go after them hard because. Right. He doesn't even know where Daryl is, you know. So Eugene would just definitely stir that up. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was. Um, these episodes have been rough for me, but I see where they're going, and I don't want to be a complete hater um, on the show. And I, you know, I just love the show so much, but I'm just, I see where we're going, you know, to yeah. wrap my, to my, you know, to wrap me up because there's really not much that I. That I really need to go into more than that, but it's just let's let's get something going now. You know, the couple saviors that were taken out, you know, which was 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 you know at least they took some f- couple of yeah. them out. So now, how is Negan going to deal with that? You know, when he it's sees not, these. Well, if you've seen the comic, you know he's going to deal with that. Not going to get into spoilers. Well, there. We already know all that stuff. Yeah. That. yeah. Uh, but I, I imagine he's not going to take it very well. And I'm pretty sure Sasha's going to get captured or killed, uh, most likely captured. And yeah, yeah she she's going to have it taken out on her probably. Yeah, probably. I mean, I mean go ahead. Uh, like you were saying with Eugene, though, there was an obvious little telltale that uh, we should have noticed at the beginning there when he was talking over the radio. He gets nervous and kind of you know twitchy when he's spinning a lie. And uh, there at the end, he he just he keeps convincing them. Uh, I, I'm That's Eugene. I'm Negan. Who I am, or whatever he said there. Yeah, I said it before. Also, but I am Negan. He, yeah. yeah. Also, I am Negan. Yeah. Who but I he, am. But notice he like still. That. But he like he makes sure people knows he knows. Who his he, name. Yeah. And yeah. then he mentions, oh, but I'm he's, Negan because he's he's, yeah. he's got. Oh, I got to play that part. I got I got to Yeah. So it's obviously just you know an act, a role. He's getting into it. Twitchy. Yeah. Mm. I think when he saw them, he thought that they, he's like, oh shit, they're going to fuck this whole thing up. Whatever he's got concocted, whatever he thinks he's going to do, whatever he thinks he can do for Alexandria and Rick and the group and his family, he's like, well, fuck, they're here. They're going to fuck this up. He probably thinks he's keeping them safe and sound by staying there with them. Yeah. And I don't blame him. I mean, you know, I I think. Yeah, well, that's the thing. (laughs) Would you go? He thinks he's in a position, right, that he could, he can help from the inside. And, and gather information, and I I really don't think that um, you know I, I think that's what I think I think he's that's what he thinks you know yeah. um, I th- I like how I think it's interesting how we took one little portion of this thing and and actually t- t- turned because we hadn't even spoken about off camera before the episode before we started recording we haven't even spoken about Eugene you know what I mean like we didn't even mention it in our show notes to talk honestly about. we said Hilltop and Rosita and Sasha. Rosita and Sasha that's it. <laughs> um, and really, guys, there. I don't. Th- I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but yeah. I don't think there really is anything else to talk about. There was some cool. There was definitely some. No, cool well, things. just the, the one end. Last, the end. Exactly. The end. Dwight. Well, that's where I was going with that. Yeah, uh, that's Dwight. <laughs> that's got to be Dwight. We saw the 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 bow and you know the crossbow, and we yeah. immediately you're like, oh, is it? Did Daryl get there? But then you're well, like, well, they gave you, they made, they tricked you into thinking that at first it would be Daryl because Daryl's like, where's Sasha? You right. Know, when it, right. And uh, you know they but give Dwight's you got that, that. Dwight's got the original crossbow. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, you guys it's obviously Dwight. So yeah. So like Jesse, you I think you mentioned in the live react, he said, you were like, oh, there, here's his turn. 
So yeah. I mean, let's yeah. let's let's fucking forget. All right, this episode was was what it was. All right, we got we definitely like you said, Mikey. We're setting it up. So now we get the next episodes coming, and it looks like if you guys haven't watched the previews, you know you could lower this or whatever. But um, it, the, the the preview for the at the end is it just showed. I think they're gonna head up. They're gonna head over to Oceanside now. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, and it, and it looks There's like they're going to goes down. They're going to get yeah, it that. It looked like there was like an explosion or something. Yeah, I don't right? know what point? I don't know what that could be. Maybe yeah. it's the saviors attacking Jesse. Maybe maybe it's not the hilltop they attack. Maybe it's throwing a grenade at the ocean side. You know? yeah, I doubt it. We need and they don't need... attack the hilltop in the comic. They attack Alexandria, so they're going to attack. Well, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I meant I meant Alexandria, yeah. but I don't know. The point is, is uh, you know, they're all getting ready. Everyone's everyone's. There's a lot of stern looking, determined. No, the ocean side doesn't like people. I'm pretty sure that's just ocean side trying to you know to stave off either. Rick and them. Maybe. Yeah. Well, either way, um, you know, we got the next two episodes, and you know they're going to be you know kind of action packed, and they're going to definitely. I think we're done with this expositional shit. Getting, yeah. you know, it's all going to be, it's not going to be into personal relationships as much. It's going to just be, let's push it forward. We're going to have the fight to get the ocean side with them, whether they join them or not. Who knows? Could they could throw a wrench in it? I don't know. It's, uh, but we're could, down to two episodes. I, 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 so I think the wrench, the wrench is going to be the fucking, the, uh, trash bag people. That's going to be the fucking wrench. Yeah, true, maybe. The ocean side, I think we, they have enough, um, it, it, you know, in, they're going to be the one we, they have a reason. To fight with Rick, it's because True, they're yeah. fighting that they garbage have that. Garbage kids that, don't necessarily have a reason. True. The garbage pail kids are, you know, they haven't given us much. So I, uh, you know, let's yeah. see what what happens with yeah. that. You know. Um. Any? All right. Anything else? I want to say that uh, even though I've said it before, I think my theory is still kind of right with the grenade being thrown over the wall or Molotov being and thrown over the season? wall. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure that. No, at this you point know, now, I'm. It's I'm, kind of confirmed. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I think I'm on board with that now. But I'm also. I. I also think that my theory is correct that they're going to end it mid-season, and it's going to. And they're going to they do a time jump. Uh, another thing is, have you noticed the length of this episode compared to the two previous episodes? Well, this is a regular length. Yeah, and it was a regular yeah. sixty-minute slot on TV. Forty-five that minutes means, worth of show. Yeah. Yeah, forty-five minutes worth of show. Uh, that means that either they're going to do another one next week. And, you know, we get maybe a 20 minute extra on the finale hey, or we're going to get an hour, hour and a half. Have they ever done yeah, the finale as two episodes? They've done that, haven't they? Like, um, no. Finale of two ep- yeah. what? what do you mean? Two yeah. hours? Yeah. Well, no, technically Fear no, the Walking Dead's finale was two episodes. Yeah, they, they, the, the longest was an hour and a half. Yeah. Fear the Walking Dead had the two hour season finale, That's which was 15 that was. and that 16. That was then? Okay. And yeah, and now The Walking Dead's only ever had an hour and a half. Okay. It's yeah. the longest, I believe. Right. Yeah. Well, either way, guys, I think that's going to do it on this one. Um, so, I mean, let us know what you guys thought. Let us know where you think this is going to go. If any of our little theories you think you agree, you disagree, what you guys heard, what you guys have found on the net, whatever the case. Uh, yeah. We just want to, um, you know, we want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you're hearing us on iTunes, thank you very much for doing that. Uh, Jesse, why don't you go ahead real quick and tell them about our friends at the, at the uh, comics comicblitz.com i couldn't get it out damn it <laughs> all right so if you head over to comicblitz.com you put in the code third person pod at checkout you can get three months of amazing unlimited comic service yep. for only three dollars yep so you, you have access what to like 4500 yeah. comics and you only pay three bucks for three months so i mean Pretty, Who wouldn't do that? Pretty dope deal, if you ask me, yeah. guys. If you're into the comics yeah. and you want to get, or you want to get into comics, or you know, and you want to support the publishers, get up in there because it's awesome, because it's fun. Um, Absolutely. And- Guys, don't forget, you can get to us at Third Person Pod on all the socials. Uh, again, yep. if you're on iTunes, if you want to maybe give us a little rating, that'd be awesome. If you're on YouTube watching this with your peepers, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate all your comments. If you want to, if you want to hit that like button, by all means, do it. I like how YouTubers are like, just hit it. It's free. I wonder if that actually works when people are like hit it. It's free. Part of like me is stamps, like, you know what? It is free. And like all over it is there. free. No, I know, but yeah. but I just that one specific thing. Hit it, it's free. And it's like, you know what? It is kind of free. Kinda. You know? Anyway. <laughs> uh, guys, we just really appreciate all of your all of your support yeah. and uh, uh, you know, and all that stuff. And we love the conversation. So please keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. And I think that's gonna do it for us here. Uh, guys, I don't know uh, if you're watching Badlands, Badlands premiered. 
the same night as this episode of The Walking Dead. So if you're watching Badlands, why don't you go over and check out our videos for Badlands? Because we're gonna we're getting into that too. Season two of Badlands. I'm sorry, into the Badlands. I just call it Badlands. Into but the Badlands. Into the Badlands. Yes, another AMC show. Uh, we love our AMC. Hey, it's a good here. show. It's a great show. We, I mean, we, we fucking love it. So why don't you find out what we thought about the uh, season premiere of uh, season two of Into the Badlands over there. Check it out. Guys, that's it for us. We'll see you on the next discussion for The Walking Dead. And uh, we love you guys. So we'll see you next time. So peace out. Hello, dang it, Bobby. Bye.